Welcome in to Texans Today, everybody. On the docket for today's show, we got the Texans injury report. A crazy Texans trade idea. It's crazy. It is a crazy one. The latest Texans power rankings, and the Texans have just claimed a player off of waivers. A very notable name. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But before we get started, I got it on today. One game three, pivotal game four tonight. Who you got? A for Astros, R for the Rangers. Let me know who you're rooting for tonight. Give me, give me those A's down in the comment section. H-Town, hold it down. We're coming back in the series. I believe, I believe that we will win. Let's go Astros. As we get on to the Texans news of the day, right before I, I actually went to that Astros-Rangers game yesterday, right before I left, I had to make a short on YouTube. If you haven't already, check it out because the Texans claimed my Jay Sanders recently waived by the Arizona Cardinals, a 2022 third round pick by the Cardinals. I mean, hasn't played in a game this year, had a little bit of promise last season. And don't forget, he was a member of that great Cincinnati team that played Alabama in the college football playoff, along with Sauce Gardner and Desmond Ritter. He was one of the big boys on the defensive line. And it's an interesting prospect that D'Amico Ryan's and this Texans team is bringing in my Jay Sanders, his stats last season, only playing in about, I believe, 13 or 14 games. He had 23 tackles, three sacks, five quarterback hits, three pass breakups. And I know you're going to say, Jeremy, pump the brakes, hold on. But we've seen this before from this Arizona Cardinals team. They had a guy in Hassan Reddick who had a lot of promise, had a lot of stuff going for him. They didn't think he was the right guy for them. They let him go. With the Eagles right now, he's one of the best pass rushers in the entire NFL. Could the Texans have found a hidden gem in my Jay Sanders? I think I think he's very intriguing. I think with D'Amico Ryans, with this Texans defensive staff, they could find a use for the young kid out of Cincinnati. But with this move, they had to make a corresponding move. That move, waving Corey Littleton, the linebacker. He's been on off and on this team. Snip, snap, snip, snap, Corey Littleton. Um, wouldn't be surprised if the Texans bring him back on the practice squad or bring him back in some capacity because they do like Corey Littleton, but with this move, they had to waive him. As we get on to more Texans news, this time on the injury front, some good news to start off with. Tank Dell on track to return week nine against the Carolina Panthers. Good to see the young man back out of Houston. He's electrifying. I can't wait to see him back on the field now that Nico Collins is kind of bursting onto the scene. He's been playing really well. I would love to see both of them on the field doing their thing. Tank Dell, great to have you back. And some more possible good news. Juice Scruggs might be on his track to return. We have not seen the Texans' second-round pick from this past season, the center out of Penn State. But D'Amico Ryans, sounding like they're hopeful, sounding like he might be good to return up against the Panthers. This is what the Texans have been rolling out there the past couple weeks. Laramie Tunsil at left tackle, Titus Howard at left guard, Jarrett Patterson at center, Shaq Mason at right guard, George Fant at right tackle. But I wonder what they do with Juice Scruggs if he does come back. I wonder if they put him at center and put Patterson at guard and Titus Howard or if they take Patterson off. I think Patterson has played his way onto this team. I think he deserves a shot to start at center. If it was up to me, I would go ahead and move Titus back to right tackle and I'd insert Juice Scruggs at that left guard position. That's just me, though. That's what I would do if I was D'Amico Ryans in this Texans front office. They know the team better than I do, but I really wonder where they where they maneuver this offensive line once Juice is healthy. And I know he's watching today. I know the Juice man, Juice Scruggs, is watching this video. So I want everybody to show him some love. We want the Juice. We want the Juice. Like today's video if you want to see Juice Scruggs suit up against the Carolina Panthers. Hey, I've been told it's proven. If we get 200 likes on today's video, Juice, he's coming back. We're getting the juice. So go down and like today's video. Go hit the thumbs up icon, whether that's on your TV. You hit the down remote and then get the thumbs up icon. If you're watching on your phone, it's right there under the video. And if you're watching on your laptop or tablet, it's the thumbs up icon right there. Go down and hit it. Let's get 200 likes on today's video. And speaking of liking something, I'm liking today's sponsor, which is Prize Picks. It's daily fantasy sports made easy, folks. It's 
exciting. It's fun. It's a great way to get involved with these games. Prize Picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on the projected stats, and place your entry. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. And as you see on screen, here are my picks. I'm going more on James Cook rushing yards at 53 and a half. Going up against the New England defense, not very good. Tyree Kill, I'm going more on .5 passing, rushing, or receiving touchdowns. Alvin Kamara, more than 29 and a half receiving yards up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And this Browns defense has been amazing this year. So I'm going less on Gardner Minshew passing yards at 218.5. But I don't want to have all the fun. I want to spread it around. I want you to play with me. Play prize picks with me right now. I want to hear from you. Will Tyree Kill score a touchdown versus the Eagles? Yes or no? I took the more on .5 rushing, receiving, or passing touchdowns. Do you think I made the right decision? Will Tyree Kill score against the Eagles? Give me a yes or no in the comment section. And if you want to play prize picks, go down and go to the link, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and use code CLNS to get a $100 deposit match. I'll say it one more time. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and use code CLNS to get started today. Before I start on this next segment, before I start on this next part, you, you got to promise me right now. Look at me right in the eyes. You can't get mad. You can't get mad at me. We promise, Peaky promise. All right, there we go. Should the Texans trade for DeAndre Hopkins? D-Hop, internet speculation has been going around surrounding a D-Hop trade and possibly a reunion in Houston. Ever since he left, there's been the rumors, there's been the, mur the murmurs. Will D-Hop ever return to H-Town? Let's take a look at his last four years, the stats. We see 2019 is last year with the Houston Texans, 2020, 2021, 2022 with the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, 2020 had a good year, 115 receptions, over 1,400 yards and six touchdowns. 2021 and 2022, only 10 and nine games played respectively, but eight touchdowns in 2021, three in 2022, not too shabby. This season, not looking good with the Titans, only 27 receptions, 376 yards, no touchdowns for the former All-Pro receiver. And I just wonder, will he fit with who we have right now? If we look at the Texans' depth chart, Nico Collins has been a bona fide number one receiver. Getting into that mold of a wide receiver one is Nico Collins. Robert Woods, Noah Brown, some older veteran guys, they've been, they play decent. And then you have the young guys down beneath, Tank Dell, John Mechie, and Xavier Hutchinson. Guys who show a lot of promise, guys who could be the next guys up in this receiving core. So let me ask you this. I'll give you my answer in just a moment. Would you trade for DeAndre Hopkins? Simple as that. Type T for trade, type P for pass. Let me know down in the comment section. There might be an ad break here on YouTube. If so, scrolling down and let me know your answer. My answer coming up after the ad. Yeah, it's a no for me, dog. That's a hard pass on trading for Hopkins. I like DeAndre Hopkins. Do I think he'll make this Texans team better in the short term? Yes, I do. I think he is better than our receivers than we have right now. Nico Collins arguably ascending while DeAndre Hopkins is kind of on his decline. I do think DeAndre Hopkins still has some left in the tank. But if the Texans are going to go out and make a move for a wide receiver, it's got to be a splash. It's got to be somebody like a T. Higgins, a Devontae Adams. It's got to be a bona fide number one guy, a superstar level talent. And DeAndre Hopkins, with everything going on with the past that he has with the Texans, I just worry it'll be more of a distraction than a help for this team. So for that, those reasons, it's a no for me. I, I still love DeAndre Hopkins. I wish him the best. I still loved his time in Houston. He was an amazing receiver for the Texans when he was in H-Town. And obviously, there's no blame on my part for him. He was traded away by Butchin for a nickel and a paper sack of uh, potato chips. But bringing him back right now, I don't think that's the right move for the Texans. What is the right move is you going down and hitting that sub button right now because we are 25 subs away from 6K. And if they somehow do trade for DeAndre Hopkins, if they trade for a T. Higgins, a Devontae Adams, or any name, we're going to break it down for you here on the channel. 
Just one of many reasons you got to go down and hit that sub button. It's completely free, and we're only 25 subs away from 6K. So go down, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you have your notifications turned on. Next up, where do they rank? Where do the Texans rank on the latest NFL power rankings after week seven? I'll tell you that in just a moment. But if you want to go check out Chat Sports' latest power rankings, this is what the thumbnail looks like right here. I'll put it down in the description and the comments of today's video. I won't spoil it. I won't tell you where the Texans rank. But go check out where all of us here at the Chat Sports team ranked the NFL teams from 32 all the way down to number one. Texans might be a little bit of a riser in our power rankings. Go check it out after this video. But for other publications, this is where the Texans rank going into week eight, our bye week. Pro Football Talk has us at 14, which is weird. They had us at 11 a couple of weeks ago. Bleacher Report at 16, ESPN at 17, CBS Sports at 12, Athletic at 17. If you notice anything from here, everybody thinks the Texans, they, they thought at the beginning of the year, you know, 32, 31, 30, horrible decision trading away your first round pick because you're going to have the first overall pick. Not so fast, sweetheart. Texans, they are a middle-of-the-road team, and that's why coming up at later this week, throughout the next week and a half, I'm going to give you a lot of trade videos because I think right now is time. The Texans need to make a splash. They need to go out and get a guy who they think can take them to the next level because this is an ascending team, folks. They can compete for AFC South titles for years to come, and I think if they get some superstar-level guys, if they get the right guys in this system, this Texans team... They're going to be dangerous, very, very dangerous. And if you want to get more Texans news and rumors, the dankest memes on the internet, go follow me on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, at Jeremy Chugs right there. I'm going to put that in the comments in the description for you. And like I said, we're 25 away, folks, 25 subs away from 6K. Who's going to be the one? Who's going to be the one to do it? Go down and hit that sub button. Help us get to 6K. And as always, let's go Texans.